Hello, my amazing Aquarius people. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading. Okay, that snap was better. <laughs> Slightly better, but it, it'll do. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Aquarius. If you are here, the cards really want to talk to you, all right? <laughs> but if you are here, you're meant to be. Let's find out why. So we have fall. Okay. We have light. And we have the devil himself. All right, that, you know what, Aquarius? This is actually not a bad energy. It's like something came to light and somebody else is falling here, not you, okay? This is not a fall for you. You know, this fall card would be a couple different things. It could be like falling for someone, you know, someone falling for you. But this is somebody falling off their high horse in some way. You know, with the light card, something, you could have just realized something about this person. Something has come to light here. And they are basically destroying themselves, okay? They are, again, falling off their high horse. That's something that keeps coming to mind. So let's take a look at what this situation might be. Aquarius, who is this? Okay, well, who is this? What is going on? We have the star, Aquarius energy. So, I mean, that's your energy. It's like, I feel like for some, like the first thing that's coming to mind, whoever's resonating, it's like you followed your heart, you followed this voice inside of you and you trusted it. And that's why you found out, like you, it's so hard to describe. It's almost like some kind of spiritual thing. Like somebody on the other side, this is going to sound so like out there, but somebody on the other side protected you from this person. You know, it could be the universe, could be an ancestor, spirit guide, something, but you had some kind of nagging feeling about somebody. They didn't really give you a reason to feel a certain way. Like they didn't, they weren't like really out there with their red flags, but you felt something, you felt something was off and you trusted that feeling, or this could be future influence for some of you. And you let, you followed that, you Again, you followed that feeling and it, you found out at some point that you were right. I think you broke up with them before you actually found out what it was, or you cut things off with them before you found out, but then at some point you found out that they were trash, okay? That they were up to something. I don't know. I'm getting a kind of a really spooky feeling off this person. I don't know why spooky is coming to my... There's just something really weird about them. And it's so weird because... They, they don't really present themselves in like a spooky way or like a, a, like a psychopath. Like you wouldn't look at this person and be like, oh my God, that's the devil himself or herself. Um, but there is something like you trusted your, your heart, your gut on something here. And that was the right move. The universe here is telling you, good job, Aquarius. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Okay. Okay. So what else? We have power again. You trusted your power, your divinity, your your heart. And whatever this was, I, I get this feeling that it like really cut you out of some like past cycle or something like that. It's like because you followed your heart, because you like stood in your power, you stood in your destiny. That's something that's coming to mind. Like you chose you above all else. I, I'm like coming up with like these weird ass sayings and shit. <laughs> But it's like, you, whatever you did, I feel like the universe is just wants, wants to kind of congratulate you. It's like, good job. You did the right thing. You followed your heart. Okay. So getting a little deep here. Okay. So what else? We have the nine of wands. So wounded warrior vibes. You know what's standing out to me? Um, let me just situate myself here. Notice how these cards are blue, okay? Very similar blue, but notice how on this card, this princess in a tower, I know it's a princess, but you know, it could be a prince <laughs> with very long hair. <laughs> but um, you notice how she's looking out the window and that same blue is out the window. Again, it t makes me feel like you found something out, like you trusted that light inside of you. 
you trusted that intuition and it, it didn't do you wrong. It protected you. This nine of wands, it protected you. And if you're in this situation now and somebody or something's kind of like nagging at you and you're like, I can't put my finger on it. This person seems fine, but why do I feel so wrong? Or why does it feel so wrong? Trust that feeling because that is that light in you. That is that intuition. That is the universe, your spirit guide. Again, remember, there's some kind of connection here that's protecting you. Listen to that feeling. And also looking at this power card, you, it's a very angelic like kind of card. See how it, this person has a halo around them and they're almost like a spiritual being, right? I think it's like Mother Mary, if I'm completely honest, but um, you know, whether you believe in Mother Mary or not, but it's like this spiritual being helping you out, okay? I know that sounds a little out there, and even if you don't believe in that, it's at the very least you, your instincts, your heart, following your intuition here. Because you may not be able to see it, like right up front, that there's something off with this person, but you, you know it, you trust it, you feel it, you feel like something's, like if you were to pursue this person, you're gonna end up getting hurt. You can feel that. Okay, and I'm not saying to overly protect yourself and never fall in love again with anybody. No, there's something different about this person. Okay, there's something, again, that's spooky. There's something spooky about them, something weird. Okay, and again, you might, you might have found out something weird about them. I don't know. Like after you break this off or after you broke this off. So let's look at the star. We have the Nine of Swords. Again, spooky. Something something about them gave you like high anxiety or is giving you high anxiety. I just heard they are what nightmares are made of. Who the fuck are you dealing with, Aquarius? For real, who is this? I'm going to need some details in the comments. If this is resonating, let me know. Because this is one like messed up person. Again, I feel like they have some kind of deep dark secret. You may not even know what it is, but you just feel like something weird about this person. There's something weird about this person, Aquarius. I know this is probably only going to resonate with like a very few people. Um, or maybe not. You know, maybe a lot of you are dealing with some like devilish kind of people, right? So, but they're just, you feel it. Okay, we have flow. Again, that aspect of you trusting this feeling. And letting yourself pull away because although this person you know they might be very tempting okay and again it might be very tempting to not want to pull away from this person because again it's not like in your face whatever this is it's not in your face that there's something wrong with this person they might be somebody who has their shit like very well together they might be very attractive they might be the sweetest person you've ever met but there's something about them listen to that Okay, this is a warning to some, whoever's resonating right now, listen to that feeling. Because if you continue on, you might find out some sketchy shit about them. The devil himself, the devil herself. And you might end up being the one who falls. Okay. Falls into their trap. Okay, let's look at the power card. We have the eight of pentacles. Again, like somebody working behind the scenes here. You have somebody watching your back, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that. It could even be a friend. Like again, if you don't really believe in the, you know, spiritual guide thing or, you know, ancestors watching you, whatever. Somebody is watching your back. And it's not just you. Like, it, of course it's your intuition. Listen to that, first of all. But there is somebody else who has your back here. Because this could easily, whoever this, like I said, they have a very strong mask here. Whoever this is, they could easily get you in a bad situation with them. Okay. So, what else? We have potential. Usually I get a good vibe off of this potential card. But I think you know where I'm going with this, with the potential. There is a potential of this... Of, like I said, of you falling in a bad way. You getting trapped, stuck in some kind of bad situation with this person. Okay, well, those wanted to come out. We had, I, I use my boob as a third hand sometimes. It's very handy. Okay, mirroring. We have mirroring. We have a mask. What did I just say? 
They have a very strong mask and we have crash. So we all see where this is going, right? And you're protecting yourself from all of this, the mirroring, like that could be something that you may have noticed um, that they, they seem a little too perfect. You guys have like way too much in common, it seems like, but that's part of their game here because we all know where it's headed, crash. Okay, is there anything else? I wanna try and see like what their secret might be or like what this is. We have sadness, okay? I mean, we all see where it's gonna end up if you stay around with this person. We have detached. And we have seven of pentacles. Just very like hot and cold kind of energy, this detached. I'm getting like an empty shell off of this detached card. This person's empty. They obviously I can't like diagnose anybody. I'm not gonna accuse anybody of this if they're not, but I get very much like like a psychopath. Like I I know that's not funny, but it's like there's nothing. They're a walking shell. And if you were to invest some time into this connection, it would bring you a lot of sadness. You're being very protected from this person, whoever this is. So if you, if you are feeling confused, you know, if you're wondering, did I do the right thing removing myself from this situation? You know, should I have given him a chance? No, you're doing the right thing. Whoever needs this confirmation, you're doing the right thing. Okay, thumbs up, okay? Um, And for those of you who, you know, may have already been trapped in this situation and you realize the mask was slipping and you got away, you might be questioning, like, was that right? Like, you know, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who might be questioning this intuition, this, you know, whatever this is. Don't. You're doing the right thing. Okay, what else? We have Seven of Cups. Illusion. Sorry, <laughs> travel, moving away from this person. They, they, there could have been, or they could have been at a distance or could be at a distance. We have release and we have the high priestess, Pisces energy. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here or stop pulling cards here. Actually, no, I'll pull a couple more. Um, but yeah, it's like, because I feel like the cards are just repeating themselves at this point, and I'd rather just leave it here at the point than like keep move going on and just repeating myself. But yeah, you're dealing with somebody sketchy. Something is coming to light, or something has come to light. Or maybe maybe they're not holding some deep, dark secret, and they're just like, you know, a very narcissistic, abusive, toxic kind of person, but they're not. they're just not showing that right away, okay? And you might be feeling bad for judging. For some of you, you might be feeling bad for judging this person because again, whatever this is, there it's not like in your face. Whatever is going on with this person, it's not in your face that they're, you know, the devil themselves, all right? But you feel it, trust it. That this is whoever is resonating with this. This is a warning. You want to trust that intuition. You want to trust it because it's going to, whoever this is, if you continue on with this journey with this person or you, you continue on giving this person your energy, it's not going to lead to anything good because you feel these feelings for a reason, that spooky feeling, that creepy feeling. I get, I get a lot of spookiness off this. Like there's something spooky about them. I don't even, I don't know how to describe it. There's just something off. And it may not be that they are necessarily spooky, but there's something off with them that you might just find, like just that off feeling feels spooky because you can't put your finger on it. That is telling you something. That is a warning. That is your instincts, your red alerts going off. Okay, trust it. Go with that. You're doing the right thing. Okay. Again, there's somebody who has your back here. Um, I guess I was going to pull a couple more cards, so I don't know why I sat that down. <laughs> We do have happiness here at the bottom, so okay. anything else Aquarius in this situation needs to know. We have death, Scorpio energy, letting go, moving on. We Moving on the chariot, Cancer energy. <sighs> Again, I feel like the cards are just kind of repeating themselves. You're doing the right thing, running away from this person, okay? Because I feel like for some of you might be doubting yourself. Don't doubt yourself. You're 
you're feeling these feelings about this person for a reason. Don't get stuck in a shitty situation because I, I feel like if you were to give this person a chance, if you were to like get any deeper with this person, you would end up being the one who falls here. Okay, and I don't want that for you, Aquarius, okay? Promise me you're not going to end up there, pinky promise. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that is your reading today, Aquarius. If that resonated or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some bananas in the comments. Um, yeah, and like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.